Hi everyone in Cloud Computing and welcome to episode 23 of the Cloud Computing Australia show with Brad Nelson and the world's number one cloud industry expert and thought leader David Linthicum. This show is sponsored by Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. In this week's show, David and I will be talking about a global study by Oracle and KPMG of business technology and IT security professionals has found Australian organisations remain sceptical about the security credentials of major cloud computing providers and are worried staff are disregarding mandated procedures. Hi Dave, great to see you this week. Yeah, it's great to be here too. This is an interesting study because uh, you know, ultimately, if you look at Oracle, Oracle's kind of uh, at odds with the big cloud providers such as Google, uh, Microsoft and, uh, and AWS. So they have a bit of a conflict of interest here. Um, obviously, they want to see slow down the cloud adoption so they can gain, uh, you know, gain some more traction. Uh, so I would consider that when looking at the study. But you know, the, the larger issue is I think people are concerned about security, and uh, they're, um, you know, they're they're not doing what they should do in order to secure their systems. Generally speaking, so you're right about that. But as far as uh, whether this should scare you away from cloud computing or not, uh, I think that's kind of a bigger question. The reality is it should basically make you a better security person, you know, rather than actually moving away from the technology which they're asserting here. So, th so this is just fear tactics from those that stand to lose the most from the rise of the public clouds then, Dave? I think partly, I think there's some truth in this. I think that people are, uh, can become better at security uh, in, in cloud and uh, you know obviously I'm busy running around advising people on how to be good secure cloud cloud uh, customers but uh, you know at the end of the day there's a bit of a conflict of interest here from you know Oracle's a cloud provider and obviously they're not going to put out something that's against themselves so uh, they're looking to basically slow down the market adoption of cloud computing and this is kind of scary for them I and mean, if you think about the larger enterprise technology providers we talk about them a lot on the show um, they're seeing more traction that's being uh, gotten out there from uh, AMG, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, as well as uh, now Alibaba Cloud is in the space. We call it Ali Cloud, and um, and there doesn't seem to be any any end in sight. And if you think about, it, we're only at about a you know 15 to 20 percent adoption in terms of workloads that have actually moved to the infrastructure as a service cloud. There's lots of additional revenue to be had and lots of different additional workloads, including the ones that are owned by the big technology providers that can be outplaced on the public cloud. And so we're going to see things like this, you know, from time to time where it's going to be calling security into question, compliance issues, things like that, to kind of scare people away from looking at the cloud. But the reality is that they should be skeptical uh, in terms of looking at their own security, but scared now. They should look at any technology that's coming down the line that can improve their position in doing IT as an opportunity for them to improve their ability to support the business, which is why we're in the in the in the technology here. Yes, I mean part of that report there was I think it noted thirty four percent of Australian organisations have experienced um, you know some form of attack in one way or another. I think one of the most common ways malicious maliciously were um, you know phishing emails etc. So you know to what words of advice would you have for particularly as this is the Australian show? What, what advice would you have for Australian organisations with regards to cyber security and embracing you know public cloud? Yeah, don't slow down. I mean, this is something that can be easily remedied with some education and, uh, you know, listen to listen to this show. And, you know, we're under, you're trying to educate you around security and go off and, you know, get the security credentials you need to understand how to lock up your clouds uh, specifically. The, the attacks you're seeing, though, aren't really going to be on cloud-based systems. They're more or less going to be on the on-premise-based systems because those are the most vulnerable. So the phishing, scam has, the phishing scams have a tendency to point you into the internal systems that you're leveraging versus the cloud-based systems because the hackers know that if they try to attack the cloud-based systems, whether it's a DDoS attack or a man in the middle or whatever, the cloud systems are typically going to sense them and block their IP addresses uh, automatically where you may not have that capability with your on-premise stuff. So you can be, for certain, uh, more secure in the cloud and now is the time to start taking steps to understand how that happens and how that how you need to make that possible. Uh, don't run away from technology just because you're scared of it. Uh, leverage technology in the ways in which the technology is designed to be leveraged 
and think about your own security. And, you know, for God's sakes, you know, work from your requirements to the technology versus from the technology back to your requirements. Yeah, exactly right. And I think you're, you're so right with regards to the clouds more likely to not be susceptible to the attack. It's it's the on-prem attacks like the malicious email, phishing emails, etc. And, and and it goes back to the thing about, you know, informing staff, training every member of staff about what to be alerted for when, uh, you know, opening an email, etc. That's something that isn't isn't quite looking right. And I think, uh, you know, the, the one of the major fears around the report, particularly in Australia, um, is the, the, the fact that staff are disregarding the the procedures with regards to just a simple thing like opening an email so it really is the staff become the weakest link really don't they yeah it's all about training and education it's not about being being afraid of layering technology i mean we can solve a lot of security problems with just making people understand the risks that are there and we're managing risks that's what security is managing risks Absolutely. Manage your risk, folks. Well, Dave, thanks very much for being on the Australia show this week. And I can see you're back in the US now. And I understand you're flying all around the world in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> thanks for being on the show. Yeah, look for me in a country near you. Excellent. Well, thanks for watching the Australia show, everyone. We really hope you enjoyed this week's show on cybersecurity. And, and uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a great show. So, look, you know, stay tuned for next week. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future shows. You can get Dave on Twitter, which is at David Linthicum. I'm also on Twitter, which is at Nelson underscore Hilliard. Thanks again for watching. And also, don't forget, we've got podcasts as well. So you don't have to watch us. You can just listen to us. Uh, thanks again for watching.